the European election results are in and Nigel Farage has a total takeover as the Brexit party becomes the biggest single group. Uh, this is still a chance for Mr. Farage's party to claim one more seat with votes still to be announced in Northern Ireland and Scotland. Okay, so it looks like there's still one outstanding seat right now. On a night of high drama throughout Europe, the rise of right-wing parties was confirmed. I mean, I think this is just astounding, just from the fact that the Brexit party is, what, like five weeks old now? And they totally dominated in the UK polls, and all the mainstream media was attacking them. And he just fought through all that, and they had an epic social media campaign that just crushed every other party, and they're totally taking over. And I think it'll be really interesting to see what's going to happen, you know, in the next couple of weeks or a couple of months, as I think the next date for the Brexit to actually happen is October 31st. But what would be even crazier to see happen would be if it doesn't, if Brexit doesn't go through on October 31st, like, what's going to happen then? Or if, like, I'm not really sure when the general elections are, but... They might be later this year, but if they're not even, to see maybe the Brexit party start to take some of those seats in the actual local UK uh, parliament, that would be interesting to see for sure. In Italy, France, and the UK, surprise results were confirmed. Mr. Farage vowed to make even more history after claiming the highest number of votes in the European elections and a stunning victory that defined the pundits. The fact it came just six weeks after Mr. Farage confirmed he would set up the party on added to the former UKIP chief's delight. Okay, so it was six weeks, but still, that's... I mean, this is really unprecedented. I haven't seen it anywhere else. It's pretty crazy. He said, in the process, they have acquired 28 of the first 64 UK seats to be awarded. Pretty amazing. Okay, so it looks like, wow, 64 seats haven't even been awarded, or half of them haven't been awarded yet, so they might win even more. Um, it's kind of crazy. In some areas, they were even winning as much as, like, 41%. You know, the Brexit party was winning as much as 41%, which is pretty crazy. Um, it's interesting that nationalism is taking over uh, most places in Europe now, kind of like how it did in the U.S. in 2016. Uh, not everywhere in Europe is getting overtaken by this, but a lot of places are. I think in Italy, I was going right-wing, France was going right-wing, UK is going right-wing, and uh, definitely stunning to see. Um, yeah, just... Uh, really fascinated by the whole brexit situation and the eu elections uh thanks for watching subscribe like this video for more videos like this uh thanks for watching